Welcome back to Jerron Salab Products LLC. The message today is stop helping people that don't love themselves. This is very dangerous. Right? This is very dangerous, you see? I learned a lot since COVID-19, right? And one of the things that is in our nature is that generally we want to help people. And this is good, right? We should want to help people and provide value, right? This should be our intention. However, we still have to be realistic and we still have to understand that not everybody want to be helped. And I used to have this vision until the pandemic. And then I went through a paradigm shift, right? I had this vision that I wanted to stop hunger in the world. But I realized that this vision, even though it was rooted from good intentions, I realized that this vision was not possible, not in the sense that it's impossible because my efforts in the sense that it's possible, it's impossible to change that which needs to be changed from within. What do I mean by that? Is, you see, hunger and poverty is a state of mind. It is not a condition. And it don't matter what I do or anybody do. There's always going to be people that struggle in life because of the way that they think. And they always going to get certain results, right? So my paradigm shifted from instead of me trying to stop hunger in the world, now my vision is I want to build schools and programs to teach kids about building wealth, right? And not only just building wealth, but the kids that want to be helped, right? And this is the vision, right? This is what I really want to do. And I think that with this, because the kids, our kids are the future, and without the kids, we have no future, right? I think that this can be accomplished. I really believe that. Right. It takes a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice, years of dedication. And I realized something with myself. Right. My vision mightn't come through while I'm alive. Right. It may take maybe two, three generations to come through. Right. This is how I'm thinking. But I believe that it can happen. I believe that there can be a major paradigm shift in the mindsets of the future generations of kids so that this way kids will be in a p better position to grow up with the educational knowledge about investments and building wealth. And, you know, there will be a decline in poverty, right? And, you know, this is very important because when you try to help people that don't want to be helped, you're going to hurt yourself in the process they going to become more bitter. They're going to become more angry. They're going to resent you, right? And it's just going to create a bad experience. So now my focus, right, is I don't want to help everybody. I want to help the people that want to be helped, right? However, I believe that kids don't know that they want to be helped, right? So to get them at this small young age, especially, right, is it's very critical and is you know it has a big impact on the results that will happen in their life if they are conditioned to think in a certain way right but aside from that you know grown-ups and just elderly people oh no if you haven't made the paradigm the paradigm shift within yourself listen i ain't gonna try to help you Right? That's my philosophy now. If you want to jump off the bridge, go ahead. Go. But if there's a young boy or a young girl or somebody in general that wants to be saved, 
and I know that they want to be saved and they make effort and they strive and they, you know, are constantly trying to upgrade themselves, I'm obligated. As far as I'm concerned, I'm obligated to help this type of person. And I'll do anything and I'll go out my way to help these type of people, right? Because they deserve to be helped because they put forth an effort every day. And these are the type of people that need to be helped. These are the type of people that need to be invested in, right? Jerome Slab Products, LLC.